From a 602 area code, who's this? Where are you calling from? 602? Is that me? Yep. Oh, hi. Uh, first time caller. I'm actually very surprised I got through. Uh, I'm Danny from Arizona. So yeah. I've actually been paying close attention to what you guys have been saying about uh, the elections here. Um, and I've been trying to check every day um, just to see, uh, you know, the, I'm not a cinema fan, but I'm glad that she took the lead. Yep. Um, and it's just funny, uh, you know, to hear the the dumb dumb side of things, talking about you know voting, not voting out of fear, just because uh, you know we're a, we're an immigrant family. Yeah. And uh, my wife is the only one in my family that can vote. I'm a I'm a resident. She's actually a citizen. And uh, the reason <laughs> the reason she voted is because for cinema and not the, the Green Party uh, candidate who, even though she dropped out, she still got 2% of the vote because she dropped out when it was already too late yep. to take her uh, off the ballot. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it, with everything going on, um, on, the, on the national stage and the stories you hear about people being stripped of uh, uh, residencies and even citizenships, right. um, you know, people not being allowed to come back into the country, um, when I hear, you know, just brain dead people talking about, you know, voting, um, not voting out of fear, voting your, you know, your conscience, whatever, um, you know, I, I, it's just upsetting to me that um, there isn't enough solidarity for, um, you know, minority issues in this country. And, uh, you know, it's just well, one of those off- things where... It's it's an Go incredible. Ahead. I mean, on one uh, on one level, it is an incredible exhibit of privilege, right? Like, because they don't have the same amount of fear, and they don't have the same amount of justification for that fear uh, that someone in your position does. In addition, they're also ignorant to you know all the reasons why you vote and um, and and what they should be fearful of. But the bottom line is there are. Real people who have real material concerns uh, that are more or less life and death about why they should be afraid for um, uh, certain people to get elected. And I'm with you. Kristen Cinema is pretty close to the last person I would want uh, uh, elected in that out of that state, except for the Republican. Who She's is such trash right. that even when she was left, she was trash. Right. But he's trash, but, but never the, far better than McSally. No yeah, doubt. Without a doubt. And there are two people right. on the ballot who could win. Uh, one person who certainly, you know, I don't know what percentage of those green voters would vote for um, would vote for uh, cinema. Maybe all of those people would not come out and vote whatsoever. That's actually a question I have for you. Do you think we could start maybe with some of those green voters? It might be fair to get just getting to the point where you're like, oh, these people are just not up for grabs. But but even yeah. even if those 50,000, even if she doesn't take those percentage points, right, that would increase the percentage right, that right, cinema would right, have. Right, 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 so right. even if they didn't show up at the polls... She would be further away outside of like a recount, outside of any uh, doubt about her vote, because she would be winning by by a higher percentage. So, right. it, it, you know, uh, yeah, well, I, 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 you know, I think it's looking good for cinema there. And, um, you know, hang in there, Danny. That's all I can tell you is that um, it's, uh, you know, hopefully you know, the things will improve um, for folks in your situation. Um, but yeah, I understand. I appreciate why you would be nervous. It's a very bad time uh, in this country for immigrants, for um, for folks who have various um, status of immigrants, for who have family, et cetera. I mean, it's bad. I don't know what right. else to tell you. but It's bad for all minorities, I feel like, right now. I think that's true. <laughs> Um, 
And one thing I appreciate, and, uh, you know, I started listening to you guys, um, I think it's been like probably a year now. Um, ever since the Mike Cernovich thing happened, um, you know, I, it, luckily it made a big enough splash. And then I like Googled and decided to listen. Um, one of the things I appreciate uh, that you guys do, and I wish more people on the left would do it, is to talk about voting as not, you know, um, like a self-expression thing, but, you know, as a, as a civic duty, and as a civic duty, you got to think about the benefit of the whole, not the individuals. Yeah. Um, and it, so and it, I appreciate that you guys talk about it in that sense. Well, I appreciate the call, Danny. Thanks so much. Sounds like you're motivated by Thank fucking you. fear. And you're trying to <laughs> fucking manipulate us. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Danny. <laughs> so I'd say vote Democratic, right, no you matter guys. what, no matter where you are. I don't care. <laughs> we should just have like a not, sound listen, drop if somebody's getting deported. It's not, I mean, you don't have to believe that it's a civic duty, although I think it is, uh, for you to vote. Um, but it's also just like it is, it is a tool to build something or to you know, prevent the onslaught of something. It is not a mode of self-expression. Nobody knows how you voted unless you tell them. And guess what? You don't have to tell them well, the truth. Yeah, but dating white women is, huh, Sam? When I when I go and vote against Cuomo in the primary and the general, that's kind of self, about self-expression. Hey, <laughs> there, yeah, there, is, there may have been a little self-expression going on in my Howie Hawkins is, vote. I'm going to own is, that. It is great to have... Um, your, you'd be able to stroke your ego and make yourself feel good about yourself and to actually um, have that align with what's best for society and for the goals that you supposedly espouse. That's nice when that happens, but that's just, a, that's just nice when that happens. Well, no, it was actually, it was fun voting for Howie Hawkins. It's, it's like, because even the other side of it is easy when it's like, the type of people who are like, yeah, Cuomo leads by 50 points, but you just need to because, you know, like the sort of like neurosis of like you need to vote for Democrats at all times, no matter what, because that's the only choice. And it's like, well, no, actually, that's the only choice. If you live in it's a swing quite state obvious in the presidential election, you were not going to hand the election right. to the Republican. And in fact, if I thought it was actually in question, then I would have to submit to voting for Andrew Cuomo. But luckily, I've never been put in that position. So I was able to vote for a, a, a nice uh, labor guy upstate who All was right. wasting his talents at the Green Party. One more, one more. Uh...